friends. So I wanted to go ahead and get this video started. Um, I knew I wanted to get this part over with before Lily got up. So I'm doing it earlier than I plan on actually starting the video. Um, just wanted to share if you're on Instagram. I don't know if I put it to my Facebook or not. Um, but if you're on Instagram, you already know that on Monday morning, we lost Willow. Which is, was, um, Willow was Lily's kitten. Saturday, she was completely fine. Um, nothing wrong with her. There's not been nothing wrong with her. She's just, she had been just a normal, crazy, chaotic kitten. Um, and, you know, Saturday when we went out and made sure everybody was where they belonged at bedtime. And, um, she's not allowed, she don't run freely anyway. She has her little spot. And if she is free, um, she is with Lily or somebody's always with her. Um, so when Saturday we went out, we done all of our nighttime chores that you have to do with outdoor animals. Um, and she was completely fine. Sunday I was out, um, attending to them and I noticed that she was laying in a little puddle of, I'm guessing that it was water. Um, I kind of smelled it. It might be gross, but it is what it is. When you got animals, you got to take care of them. Um, all the goody stuff just goes out the window when you get animals. You know, you can't be too good to do things. Um, so anyways, I smelled it. It just smelled like water, but she was laying with her front paw in it. And I was thinking, well, that's weird because one, she's a cat and cats hate wetness. And then two, why would she just be laying there, you know, by choice in some wetness? Um, so I picked her up and checked her out. Everything looked good on her, but I could tell that she was tired. Um, so, uh, that was my first clue that something was not right with her. Um, I dried her leg off, made sure that she had fresh water, fresh food, all that. She was good. And, you know, I, we couldn't get her to eat. She did drink a little bit, but she just was not interested in her food. So, we decided that we was going to go. And, of course, I went straight into my phone Googling stuff because that's the kind of person I am. Um... And I found that Tractor Supply was supposed to have some vitamins that would be good for her. Um, as well as the Fancy Feast kitten food is supposed to have like a really strong aroma. And so it entices kittens or even cats that just don't feel like eating. It can entice them to want to eat. So we ran out. We got the food. Um, I was going to get the vitamins. Ended up they did not have them in stock at our local Tractor Supply. So we, um, I ordered them on Amazon. They didn't make it here in time. Um, but anyways, I noticed that night that she just, she was going through phases where she seemed like she was getting worse. And then she would seem like she was perking up, like she would sit up and, um, she would show interest in you talking to her and you like run your fingers in front of her. She would be interested in it. She didn't have the strength to get up and like chase your hand or anything, but she was showing interest. Um, she did like swat at Lily a little bit, which is something she likes to do, like swat at your face. Um, but as the evening went on, more, um, more, she got more lethargic and she just wasn't doing good to where at the point at bedtime I was using a syringe to um, give her water and some k syrup and she just barely wanted to swallow at that point so I had a feeling I had a feeling she wasn't gonna make it and um, I tried to prepare Lily for that you can't prepare for things like that I mean, it's, I guess, a little bit better than a shock, but I tried to pre prepare her that, you know, I did not think that it was going to be good. You know, I was praying, of course, 
I was praying a lot that she would be okay. Um, but I was as best as could be prepared for something to happen to her. We set her up a little place in the house, um, in the girl's back bathroom to where Lily wouldn't have to be worried about her and not being able to see her all night long because I, I knew that she would be. Um, about two o'clock, she ended up going. And that's when we found her, well, when Lily found her anyways. I guess she had got up and went to check on her and um, she was gone. You know, one of my biggest things um, when it comes to animals especially is even if something's gonna happen, you do everything that you can to try to stop it. That way, on your part, there's never no, you know, there's no regrets of I should have done this or should have done that. So, we done what we could and just sometimes things happen and it happened. Yesterday was really hard. Um, losing a pet is really hard. But to watch your... To watch your kid hurt and not be able to take it away. It's a whole different level. So, um, Lily is doing much better. Well, she's still asleep this morning, but she's doing much better last night, yesterday evening. Um, she was actually smiling and laughing some. It's been really hard. Um, but like I said, this isn't our first go at animal loss. Um, so we know it's just one day at a time. And that's all you can do is just take it one day at a time and know that it gets easier. Even if it doesn't feel easy at the moment. So that's where we're at. At this point, I mean, it's just been two days, not even two days yet. Um, we haven't talked about it, but if she wants to try again and get another kitten, we will. Um, we only had Willow for two, I think it was two weeks, maybe almost three weeks, maybe three weeks. We got her on the 18th anyways. She passed on the 11th. Um, but if Lily, you know, you don't have to have something for a long time to love it. Would it have hurt worse in three years? Probably. But that doesn't lessen how bad it does affect people. And especially a a little girl. You know? So. Um, I'm confident that she will want another kitten. And if she does, she will have another kitten. But... We're just trying to get past, past it. Owning animals is hard. Um, it's great during the good times. It is amazing and the best thing ever. But when the stresses come from it, whether um, they pass away or not, when something happens, they get sick or just, you know, other worries that come along with it. In those moments, it makes you question if any of it is worth it. But the good that comes from it, I think it makes it worth it. Even if it doesn't always feel like it. So, I did want to go ahead and update here. And I knew I would be a hot mess. Because that's the kind of person I am. And it stinks to feel things so deeply. Sometimes I wish I could be one of those people that just takes life as it is you know I always say it is what it is but I'm really far from that person um 
I know there's some people that they just don't have a connection to animals or even just other things in life and they just take things freely and if it happens it happens if it don't it don't and they even will do that with things like um, pets and whatnot and important things and I told I've told John before before this happened um, that sometimes I wish I could be that person that just you know if something happens it's not you know you obviously are still upset about it and sad but it's just you know you go on and then you kind of forget about it really quick sometimes I envy the people that can do that we know welcoming a bunch of animals into our home and our yard that we're just setting ourselves up for more heartbreak because it's inevitable that it will happen sooner or later hopefully later um but you just have to think about is it worth it like does the good outweigh the bad and so far in every case that i've ever seen the good outweighs the bad so we'll just keep torturing ourselves on the bad days and just look forward to the more next good days i guess but the last few days have not been good days and I was thinking about it this morning. How with the air and everything, I was starting to get a little bit down. And I've not had like issues of depression or, you know, just sadness. I've not had any issues with that whatsoever since we got into the animal keeping back in March. Um, I think it was actually before the even chickens even got here hadn't had no problems it's just I guess everything in life seemed like it was going good and um then the air and just all the things the worries and stress that come along with that and then the air got fixed and I was like everything's looking good you know I was starting to feel like myself again and then willow but this morning I was sitting on the porch and for some reason on tiktok it was bringing up a lot of different like sad videos um people that had cancer and um there was one about a gentleman that was going through a ride through his farm for the last time um with his i don't know it had two other gentlemen with him and he was he was really old he had oxygen and um i'm i'm thinking i didn't click on the page but i'm thinking that he has passed away already and for whatever reason watching that my thoughts the voice in my head said he's not gonna we're not gonna let him steal the joy and for whatever reason I started crying it's been happening a lot but I'm not gonna allow sadness to steal the joys of my life I have a lot, but I'm not going to do that this time. So while we're definitely not happy and hippity and hoppity yet, we're going to keep praising God. Because even if life's kind of stinky right now, if you look around, if I look around, life is still good. And that's enough to be thankful for. Like them goats, but they're crying because they want a treat. Little things. They're not the big things. So, I'm not accounting Willow's life for a little thing. But I'm also not going to let it stop joy and happiness from coming either. There are squirrels running around the yard. Anyways. We will pick back up later. Um, I'm actually filming a cleaning video. I stopped mid-cleaning video. To come do the intro. That is going to be 10 minutes long. So maybe this will be most of the video. 
but I just wanted to share that um, because you all are some of you most of you are part of our family and you're here because you enjoy seeing our life and our content and while I don't share everything on here um, good bad ugly everything in between I don't share everything I do share most I share a lot and I just it wouldn't feel right to not update the people that's in our corner more than anybody else so we have lost Miss Willow um, I buried her yesterday morning I was gonna wait on John to do it but it was hot and to be honest, I just didn't want Lily to have to worry about, um, you know, her not being laid to rest and her walking past Willow or, or anything. So, I took it upon myself to bury her and it was the first, I'm pretty sure it's the first of our animals that I've ever buried myself. And that alone was a journey. It didn't feel right to do it, but anyways, anyways, we're going to be all right one day at a time. I love y'all. I just wanted to share because I felt like you needed to know, and I'm sorry about this. Part of what you get, An overly emotional, whatever this is. So hopefully next time I show my face on here. I'm less of a mess. No promises. You're ready to get wet, ma'am. You know it. Uh -huh. Where's your sister? Oh. Found her. That is the other toy that I bought uh, at Goodwill the other day that I was talking about. Didn't get to bring them it was raining right yeah and then this is how we set up that exercise ball this is actually my old one and I kept the new one um, but I had to shove it down in the tire because they kept knocking it to the side of the fence and then getting those trying to get on top of it and I was worried those going to escape the fence because we still don't have um, hot wire on it so they like it though what do you want a treat Dark. It's dark back here where the sun's not shining, ain't it? You have some grapes? Have you ever had grapes? I don't think so. Oh, you want some, ma'am? It's really dark. It's getting ready to storm. In case you couldn't hear it. How's that? And we picked up a big metal feeder this weekend because the little one they would just they would knock it over a lot. Is that good? I'm gonna poke my leg. It's got pain on it. Yep, it's not food ma'am. I'm sorry. Alright so we're getting ready to start dinner um but I did want to make some brownies tonight so that's what we're gonna do and of course I can't leave well enough alone. So we're gonna play around with them, add a few things. I'm going for like a s'more brownie. We'll see how it goes. Um, marshmallows don't tend to do well in brownies. They like explode, disappear, whatever. Um, so we're going to just make some brownies. They're gonna be good. I mean, we know that. Uh, but we're gonna just throw some together and I figured we'd go ahead and record that. For dinner, I'm gonna make some chili cheese burgers um my friend allison was talking to me in on instagram and she mentioned them and we've never had anything like that and it sounded really good she showed me hers they looked good so we are going to make some of those for dinner i think i'm going to saute up some onions as well to go along with that but first we're going to get these brownies in the oven so let's get to experimenting i guess because i don't know it's brownies you can pretty much throw anything sweet and good and the brownies and it'd be good right i think so 
All right, so we're just gonna make the brownies just like the box says to make them. So that's what we're gonna do. I had to figure out a way to set my light up because it's dark. It looks like it's gonna storm. We've got a pretty big chance of a storm for the next, I guess, hour or so. And like my phone's been going off with warnings and whatnot, so. I didn't want to wait, though I wanted to get this done, so that's what we're gonna do. I've been putting this off forever, uh, just because, I don't know, one reason, or no, one reason or another, I've been putting it off. And I decided today I was done putting it off, so we're gonna get them made. I'm just winging it here, that's a bad thing. Okay. is a big box of brownies like this is a eight by nine no what what this is a 13 by nine family size pack i didn't even realize that um i always put mine in a eight a 13 by nine pan anyways because we just tend to like thinner brownies so this might not be thinner but that's kind of i was wanting the opposite this time because of the way i'm planning on doing it and like i said it might not work out it's an experiment the best kinds of experiments are the ones you can eat. So, that's what we're gonna do. And I mean, we'll eat them no matter what. So, well, almost no matter what, you know, we're gonna be realistic here. But I don't think you can mess up chocolate brownies with marshmallows, graham crackers, and added chocolate. It just doesn't seem possible. And then what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna take like three of these graham crackers and just break them up a little bit. trying to decide we're gonna add just a little bit of the chocolate maybe half of it the storm is here I think John and Nolan went down to mow the field so not sure how they will fare in the rain I think the storms are supposed to be going by like 4 30 though so I mean 5 30 never know they might pull back up all right, so these are marshmallows that have chocolate in the middle of them. Only marshmallows I've got, I think. And I might have some in there. Just regular large ones. No one wanted me to dehydrate some more. And I told him I would do that. And then I went to do it the other day and we did not have marshmallows. So the small ones that we dehydrate anyways, we didn't have. Let me go see if we got regular. This, this is as regular as we got, and they are huge. They are extra large marshmallows. Well, that one wanted to be part of it. Why does that look disgusting? Oh, it's the chocolate coming out. It's fine. It's okay. And we're going to do one more. Look at this one. That's in there. Like what? No one will like that. I'll have to show him that. Um, chocolate chips. I had put these in the freezer because last week when our air was out, I noticed they was melting pretty bad. I don't know why the white chocolate didn't. I don't think. The white chocolate didn't do it, but the, these was trying to melt. So I put them in the deep freeze to try to save them. And just in case the marshmallows disappear, I'm going to add some white chocolate chips. Just because one, they taste good, and two, this will give the illusion of marshmallows. I don't know. It sounds, in my mind, it sounded good. So. This might be a complete disaster. I might prove myself wrong with saying that you can't mess up brownies, but 
this is something I've been thinking about for a while, wanting to try it. So I figured we might as well go ahead and get it done. It looks like a hot mess. I'm not gonna lie. Looks like a disaster. You may never see this. Just kidding, we'll share even if it's a fail. Sometimes seeing other people's failure makes us feel more human, I guess. It's also a good reminder to not be afraid to try something because you're afraid to fail. Anyways, we're gonna put this monstrosity. Is that a word? Did I use that right? It's whatever. We're gonna put it in the oven now. Let's see what happens. It's ugly. It's breathing. It's fine, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so the burgers are pretty self-explanatory. Let me go grab the chili really quick. So it is just cheeseburgers. I thought about grilling tonight, which I'm glad I didn't now. Um, but I thought about grilling tonight and just making enough burgers to where there's leftover and just doing it that way. But I thought we would try it this way and then we'll try it grilled some other time and see which way we like it better. Um, so all we're going to do is just make some cheeseburgers on the stove top. I'm also going to caramelize some onions and then we're also, what are you, why am I talking like that? Um, but we're also going to add some of this chili sauce on it that goes on hot dogs. When I was talking to Allison, um, she just mentioned what she used and I told her that this is our favorite anyways, absolute favorite. Um, when we used to do birthday parties or um, we have family gatherings and people want to do chili dogs, I'm usually the chili person because everybody likes my chili and all I do is use a bunch of these with ground beef and then I add some ketchup to it, sometimes sugar and some seasonings and everybody really likes it for their hot dog chili. Um, but we're obviously not going to add hamburger to this because it's going onto a cheeseburger. So. I'm going to go ahead and get that all cooked up, and then I will share you, show you the finished products. I did try the brownies. They're a little messy, um, but they do taste really good. They taste like brownies with marshmallows and chocolate, so they're good. They're not the prettiest things ever. Definitely not aesthetically pleasing, but they taste good. So, if you wanted to make those um, and you wanted them aesthetically pleasing, I think it would be a good idea to put some, I was going to say chocolate frosting but if you done chocolate frosting or marshmallow fluff on top one of those would be really good maybe some extra graham cracker crust i mean no graham cracker crumbs just to hide the ugly that's on top but they taste good so we're gonna go ahead and get dinner done i was gonna make some fries to go with it i think i'm going to i still think we're gonna make some fries to go with it so i was gonna say no because we'll do fry uh chips because we have a lot of chips, but I think we're gonna save the chips for real night. So, we're gonna get these burgers going. I'm gonna throw some fries, I guess, in the oven, and then I will show you everything once it's done. All right, so it's time to assemble the burger now. I'm gonna take one of these hamburgers here, piece of cheese, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this chili, try not to get it everywhere. It's gonna be messy, I can already tell, but that doesn't mean it won't be good. And then some of our grilled onions. I 
I don't like raw onions, but I really like grilled onions, so. So, hopefully you can hear me. Um, Jonathan got home, and for some reason, whenever he comes home, Tessa treats him like a stranger. And I don't know what it is. Every single time, she will bark at him like crazy for like 30 minutes or so until she realizes that she knows him. So, um, I think we're going to go ahead and close out this video here. The burgers was really good. Um, I don't know why I never thought just to add chili to a cheeseburger. Because I had ground beef to hot dogs. To chili dogs. But um, it was good. I should not have ate it all. Uh, I wasn't even really that hungry. But I wanted to, you know. I could have used John's though. So why did I think I had to have one? Anyways. I shouldn't have ate it because I wasn't even really hungry. Um, and so now. So now it's just sitting, sitting in there in my stomach. So. But we're going to go ahead and close out. Well, obviously, it's still sitting on my stomach. You you know what I mean, maybe. Um, we're going to go ahead and close out this video. I'm going to try to get some editing done. My hopes are... This is supposed to be tomorrow's video. Because I got a little bit behind schedule. Um, which, story of my life. Um, usually, a little bit behind schedule anyways here lately. Um, I think I'm going to get caught up and I never do. But it's fine. We, we kind of got a groove here. Um, but anyways, I was hoping to get both of those videos edited by tomorrow. And so that tomorrow we'd have the cleaning video go up in the morning on the cleaning channel. And then, um, this video on this channel that you're watching right now. But we're going to kind of close this out. Like I said, I did just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, you guys really are like family to us. I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you guys because it really means a lot knowing that you all care about us and um during hard times it definitely helps me be able to pick back up so to speak um because I know that you're got you're kind of counting on me I mean it's just a video it's not a big deal but I know that if I don't post or something and I'm supposed to I will have people messaging me and like are you okay you know I'm just checking in and it really means a lot. Um, and so knowing that, I didn't want to really, you know, pull back from it. And so it kind of, it's helped. That's all I'm trying to say. It's helped. You know that I really appreciate everybody um, checking on us and loving us and supporting us. It means a lot to us. So really appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And we'll see you next time. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, guys.